the statement of purpose from Martin House Brewing, which is a peanut butter golden stout. So it's a golden beer with peanut butter flavoring, but it's a stout. It's called a white stout. We're going to take a look at it today. Hey guys, good afternoon. My name is Jason. This is Texas Brew Crafters, where we do reviews of breweries and beers in the state of Texas and possibly beyond in upcoming episodes. So uh, click on subscribe below if you like that sort of thing. We're going to do a golden stout today. If you've watched any videos on this channel at all, I have mentioned time and again that stouts are my favorite and peanut butter stouts are like my to top of the favorite. So when a friend of mine told me about this new one from Martin House called the Statement of Purpose, which is listed as a white stout in untapped and a little bit on their website too. And on the, on the can, it says peanut butter golden stout. So I've got to try that, right? I've, already, I've actually already drank like, uh, I bought a six pack and I think these are my last two that I've got right here because I like beer. So, you know, that's, it's a good thing. If you're going to have a beer channel, it's good to like beer. Uh, so we're going to pour it in here, let it kind of settle down for a minute. There's that. It is an 8% 8, 8 uh, ABV, and it's listing, listed as a 15 IBU on untapped. I'm going to bring up my untapped app here, and I'm going to read what a white stout is. A white stout is what this is listed at. It says golden stout on the can, but untapped says it's white. A white stout is created as a result of omitting dark roasted malts from the grain bill and replacing them with cold steeped coffee, cacao nibs, and or vanilla beans. So I wonder how that translates to peanut butter golden stout. I don't know. All I know is that it's good. It's it's multi tasting because it's a low IBU. It's golden tasting because it's golden flavor, but it's got that. If you ever had a golden stout, I've had a couple of different beers that were golden stouts. They're hard to describe. If you don't know, think of a stout, but think of it as just, just as much flavor, but less heaviness. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. It's, it's uh, stouts are, uh, stouts can have a very thick, hearty, multi flavor. You know, they vary from beer to beer, from manufacturer to manufacturer, and they can have a very robust flavor. Um, unlike IPAs, in my opinion, that all kind of taste about the same. Yeah, you may have some citrus here and some different flavors there and some fruit here, but they've all got that bitterness to them, the hoppiness flavor. A stout can be a little bit more wider variety. People's tastes buds are different, you know, tastes change here and there I, my tastes are not going to match your taste this is just how i taste it but this one here is a golden stout and it's got it's you can definitely taste the peanut butter definitely taste the peanut butter no problems with the peanut butter at all it is lighter than what you would find in a normal peanut butter stout but it's got that maltiness flavor about it just not the heaviness the heaviness is gone the flavor is there the peanut butter is halfway between subtle and overpowering. I don't think it's over. I've never had a peanut butter stout that I thought was overpowering. Really? Not really? Because I love peanut butter and I love peanut butter stouts. So I've never really had one that would fit that bill. But I can see how, you know, some, some of them are a little bit like, man, that's just a little bit too much flavor. Not this one. This one takes the flavor, turns it down a notch, turns the maltiness down a notch you still got that stout body flavor to it but it's more lighter and more refreshing and better for a summer beer and right now it's june in texas so that's always a good thing so i think this is settled down enough now let me take a oh yeah just as good the first thing you you, you can smell the nose of it immediately you're like yep that's that's peanut butter that's what that is. And it's a sweeter peanut butter. It's kind of like a, um, maybe a peanut butter, maybe a Butterfinger. 
maybe like a Butterfinger candy bar. That's that's kind of a little, little bit what the, the, the ambiance I get from the nose of the beer. It's kind of like, oh, it's like a maybe a Butterfinger Blizzard from Dairy Queen. Something like that. Mm, very good, though. Very good. Martin House did a great job. They're out in Fort Worth, Texas. We've been by there once. Uh, we went up there to do a couple of, like, a tap room tasting with them. This was like a year, year and a half ago. And they were packed. It was full. So, yeah, we, we, we found a table and we sat down. We were going to record some stuff, but it was so loud in there. It wouldn't have, would have made for a great video. And it was dark outside by the time we got down there. And they have a little bit, a small outside sitting area where you can go out. Some people go out there and smoke cigarettes. You can sit outside if the weather's not too bad. And, uh, but it was dark by the time we got there, so we didn't really ever actually film anything with Martin House. So I'm glad to be able to put another brewery in the list of breweries that I've talked about and reviewed on this channel. Go to texasbrewcrafters.tv. Down the right-hand side, you can see a list of all the breweries we've done. Many of those breweries, mostly in the Mid-Cities area, but also in the Galveston area, we've reviewed multiple times because there's some really good breweries up in North Texas, there's a, there's a fantastic brewery, brewery on the island of Galveston. There's several in the Houston area that are great. I know there's a bunch down in Austin, San Antonio, too. I just haven't got down there yet. So really interested to see what you guys think about this beer. Put a comment below if you've had it. If you've never had it before, something like that. We also have a Discord channel. You can join our Discord and see that link in the description below. You can join us and talk about all kinds of different craft beer around the state of Texas and around the USA. Thanks for watching, guys.